Millions of people around the world are watching the Olympic Games in London, but probably very few of them realize it's an Israeli company and an Israeli technology that's allowing the big broadcasters to beam live images of the games. Those very personal and emotional moments on the field with athletes, perhaps just 30 seconds after winning a competition or talking to their family members, coaches, visitors in the stands, those are images that are possible now because of a technology developed here at a company outside of Tel Aviv called LiveView. We're going to go inside and see how it works. This compact portable device is leaving satellite news trucks and dishes in the dust. It's delivering live HD quality video with much more flexibility and much less expense than traditional methods. Essentially what we are doing, we're using the infrastructure of the cellular network to transmit live video back to the studio. But because you cannot rely on one single network, what actually LiveView is doing within the devices that we have a backpack, we have seven cellular modems. And when we take a, a foot, uh, when we take a, a picture from the camera itself, we split it in between those several, several networks and combine them over on the studio itself to create one picture. Founded in 2006, LiveView employs over 150 people here in Israel and in the U.S. LiveView provides a new kind of flexibility and freedom for news reporters who no longer have to depend on a satellite truck. The whole system fits in this backpack, which is worn by the cameraman. Right now, we can go everywhere. We can go anywhere. And because it's based on a cellular technology, we are not bound by line of sight. So LiveView provide you the ability to transmit live video from airplanes, from down in basements, from bridges, from high-rise buildings, from, uh, from anywhere possible where you have cellular transmission. LiveView is considerably cheaper than buying and maintaining satellite news trucks. The system costs between $1,000 to $2,500 a month, depending on the package. All the top-tier broadcasters are using LiveView today, just six years after this Israeli startup began. The American broadcaster NBC was the first, but now ABC, CBS, Fox News, CNN, AP, and Reuters are all clients. Has live view become kind of a household name now in broadcasting, do you think? Yes, I do think. I mean, right now, the term live view became kind of synonymous with people saying, oh, we're going, we going live view. The Live View units have been used to cover major news events like the Arab Spring, Japan's 2011 earthquake and tsunami, and this year's royal wedding. But the London Olympic Games has been the company's yeah, crowning we'll achievement. The, the BBC picked Live View to help them cover the games. Over a hundred boxes are being used by the BBC and other top broadcasters. The company says over 125 hours of Live View footage each day has been beamed live around the world. It's giving viewers a much more personal and up-close experience of the Olympics. Right now, the networks took the advantage of right now following, the, uh, following the, the, the athletes in practice sessions, in before actually the competition and after the competition, and give a little bit much more flavor to the audience back home with live view. And this is something that you, that you haven't seen before. And right now, and we're getting on, on, on every day, I mean, uh, um, stations are following their athletes on bikes with live view on the back and, and just driving with them uh, while they're running the marathon. The major events like the Olympics can pose a certain challenge for live view. Broadcasting in a place where tens of thousands of people are using cellular networks can cause problems. Designing solutions that relay signals to a distant, less populated cellular network is one way the company keeps video delivery consistent. It's a dedication to problem solving and technological innovation that clients have come to expect from Israeli high-tech companies. You raise the challenge for an Israeli company, startup company, and immediately everybody is running and start want to actually find a solution for that. So I, this is, I think, where we are very close to this startup nation kind of atmosphere and vibe. And, and uh, I think this is where we excel also in, 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 the, in, in that part. What's you know, the latest product at LiveView? Really huh? This it's much smaller device can be that uses four to cellular the modems, to not the seven. It can be attached to your belt. It may be used by smaller players in the media game, bloggers and independent journalists.
we sometimes say that we are democratizing uh, live video. Live was something that was very kept by the biggest, the big networks. Like going live to was was something they highlight. We are actually bringing that revolution into the, you know, to anyone who has a blog or any newspaper that has a website. They now can go live as well. LiveView does have competitors, but the privately held Israeli company was first in the market and remains the leader. Jordana Miller, JN1, Kvar Saba.